Hey folks, Dr. Mike here from Renaissance Periodization. Intermediate training for hypertrophy video number two, needs analysis and split design. When training intermediates, you have a four-part needs analysis as with beginners. First, of course, you want to know their grand goals. What do they want most? Uh, what do they want next? Is it fat loss? Is it muscle gain? It's probably one of those two things in most cases. Another one is what muscles they want to train, of course. And at this point, you know, beginners are used to just kind of training everything and not even having a training split. Like every day is whole body. At this point, you want to explain to intermediates that, look, if you really value some things and not many of others, a training split might be a good idea. Not maybe training the whole body every day, but focusing on one thing versus another. Of course, you want to understand the priority ranking of the muscles they want to train. And of course, implement a split that helps them do that. And before you get to any of that written down, you have to try to figure out how many days a week they're good to train for. Now, with beginners, we talked about the fact that they, in many cases, just have no grounding whatsoever in what it takes. And also, they may just get really cocky and they just don't know how to sustainably train. So they say, oh yeah, four days a week is great. They really can only make three. They get dejected. They don't make the training. They stop training. Intermediates usually don't have this problem, but you may need to have two distinct conversations with them. One is they may say, hey, I have these goals and I can only train two times a week or three times a week. You may need to have the conversation with them like, look, 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 I agree with you. These are great goals. If I'm to reasonably provide you with a high probability of achieving these goals in the time frame we set out, sometimes even at all, you're going to have to train maybe four, maybe five days a week. None of this is ever about making yourself more money. Especially if you're an online coach, you actually don't get paid by how many training days they have. If you're an in-person personal trainer, you do, but you always have to be honest because you have to sleep at night. Also, if you're dishonest, eventually you just run through all your clients and no one ever, ever going to talk to you again. But you have to just come from the perspective of how do I give my client this best service? The reverse is true where I used to have people who wanted to see me for training. They're like, five days a week, I can make it. And I look them up and down and I'm like, how long have you been training? And I'd say like three months. And I'm like, just show up twice a week. We can get everything you want done. They're like, well, but no, I'm ready to come five days a week. I'm like, yes, yes, I know that. I want you to take all of your energy that have the three extra workouts in it. I want you to put it into running a proper diet, which I'll show you how to do, and doing enough physical activity, which I'll show you how to do. And they're like, okay, I can't just, I can't just burn it off in the gym? No. Okay, great. So it's just as often that you'll be telling people to pare it down, but with intermediate, sometimes you have to say, look, you got to pare it up. And... Point number two here is you even have that, that talk with intermediates where you say, look, I know you're pumped and I know you want to do six days a week, two a days, but it'll burn you out. You're not psychologically ready. You have to slowly ascend up that ladder. We get a lot of that actually. Jared and I train uh, two days, uh, two a days a lot of times, like uh, six days a week. Some of the days you train twice and almost always the people that really are interested in that are intermediates, early intermediates, like, oh yeah, I'm not a beginner anymore. I want to do this for the best gains. No, you, you have to train five days a week for a year, get amazing gains like that with not as much effort. See if you even have the ability to recover from more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And split design, very straightforward, very similar to what we did with beginners in the last lecture series. You take all the muscles they want to train. You take all the weekly sessions, arrange them together, and you just assign muscles to sessions. The rule is, well, generally, every muscle gets trained two to four times per week. So typically we have this layout here that you can see two, three, four, five, and six X. So a couple things to call out here. One is two times a week. Whole body is generally not enough for intermediates to make their best gains. So we'll have to do more three X whole body may not be optimal for intermediates because you're doing so much training that you're not recovering for the next session. And you start to hit the junk volume limit. Beginners can train everything three times a week and be totally fine. But stuffing that much stuff into one workout, it might be like eight or 10 exercises. Towards the end, some stronger intermediates will be like, dude, I can't do this anymore. So they have to split up into more sessions, more like four or five and six days, giving you more complex splits. You can do whole body training for intermediates, even four and five days a week if you want, even six technically. But a lot of times splits start to offer at least time efficiency advantages. Lastly, of course, you want to place prioritized muscles on average earlier into any given session. And if you have multiple priorities, that means you'll have different emphasis sessions. You'll have sessions where back is trained first, then others where legs are trained first. Because your back and legs are both priorities to you, you train them on the same day, 
And so at least or you can't just have legs first, legs first, back second, back second on both days of the week because then your back really is never a priority. So you'll have to do some more complex alteration time type of stuff. Even if it's whole body every day, if they have a priority of a few muscle groups, half the days one muscle group sec uh, section is prioritized as going first or early, and the other day another one is, and you sort of alternate that way. Whole body every day does not mean you do the same workout every day. It doesn't even mean you do the same uh, exercise order every day. There can be a lot of complexity to that, right? Of course, some muscles can spend the entire mesocycle on the back burner, which is totally fine. Someone says, look, I just don't want my calves to get smaller, but I, I still want to focus on just keeping them the same size, but also get the rest of me jacked. It's absolutely calves can be last every single time you train them, and you can only train them twice a week with two or three sets, and that'll be good enough. Well, that was fast. Sorry to rip you off like this. Don't worry. We'll have meteor videos later in the series. I'll see you for video number three.